Avast there, mateys. How would you like to learn what life was like sailing on the tall ships from days of old? Well, this is your chance to relive the past. It has been docked at Pier 66 in Fort Lauderdale, but it's no ordinary tour, as I got to see earlier this week. After getting permission to board, I climbed up the rope ladder and toured the majestic SSV Oliver Hazard Perry. It took six years and $18 million to build America's newest tall ship, but many parts were actually donated, including the 127-foot tall masts. These are steel tube sections, and they're actually donated Texas oil pipe. The ship is a Coast Guard certified school sailing vessel, so there are no passengers. They call them trainees. They're doing everything from galley duty to steering uh, to emergency duty. So very, very hands-on, even um, going up and furling sails in uh, heavy weather. Named after famed Rhode Islander Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry, who won a decisive battle against the British in 1812 in the War of Independence. The ship feels like living history. This is the great room. This is the, the very aft um, saloon of the ship that traditionally would have been the realm of the captain. It's been sailing to Cuba this winter, but soon they will be partnering with FIU and going on an Arctic exploration. A small nav shack protects the ship's high-tech electronics, but navigating the ship is all old school. And literally, this is how I would be steering. She can sail about eight knots, but the metal-hulled frigate has backup. Two main Caterpillar uh, diesel engines for propulsion and then two John Deere generators. A permanent crew of 15 is always working to maintain the tall ship, but don't feel bad for them. No one's getting scurvy. For lunch, we have pork loin and uh, roasted sweet potatoes with uh, broccoli and green beans. This is its third season afloat, and of course, you have to keep an eye out for pirates, but explorers who have sailed on this tall ship say it's an experience of a lifetime. Ah, the wind in your sails and the fresh air at sea. I have to admit, there's nothing like the romance and adventure of sailing on a tall ship. You missed a spot, Todd. Yeah, I got it. Todd Tonga, Put that guy to work. Swam the deck, Todd. On Monday, the ship heads back to its home port in Newport, Rhode Island. They'll be back in South Florida next winter when they plan to do an Arctic exploration and partnership with FIU. That should be, that should be crazy. Like, I understand you go into the tropics, but. Yeah, I know. Uh, freezing weather. I don't like that at all. Listen, but my back is sore from swapping the deck. All right. Listen, you should do that around here. We can use some. Yeah, help. right. Yeah, you know that old joke. You want to be in the circus? The guy cleans up after the elephants. Yeah. You want to be in show business. <laughs>